Others I was supposed to kill. Hey fellas, the debate of Black Ops Cold War versus Modern Warfare is a pretty stupid one to be honest. Comparing these games at this point doesn't make a whole load of sense, but hey, here we are. We're doing it. The multiplayer beta is still about three weeks away, so until then, none of us have actually played the game, which means our judgments of it are gonna be a bit off and inaccurate. I mean, all you need to do, my evidence for this is just look back at Modern Warfare last year. Before any of us got to play it, it sounded too good to be true. Now we can see that Modern Warfare is an extremely divisive game. Some people love it, some people despise it with a passion. I guess it was literally too good to be true, and Black Ops Cold War kinda seems to be the same where, from leaks and marketing, it seems to be making the right move every damn time. The community, let's just say, is 95% percent positive. It's good vibes right now, but I guess in a year's time we'll see where we truly end up. What I'm trying to say is, getting a definitive answer to what's better, Black Ops Cold War or Modern Warfare, at this point, whether it's opinions or facts, that answer is kind of impossible right now because we simply don't know. We are going to compare the games, what they do, you know, for facts to see where we can get, but it's not going to be an entirely accurate reading of the situation. And you've got to remember, lads, the COD cycle does exist, so because Cold War will become the newest game, it's going to come under a lot of scrutiny and people will start to say, oh, Modern Warfare, maybe he wasn't so bad after all. Sadly, that kind of thing just does happen. But when we lay it all out, Modern Warfare and Black Ops Cold War are very different games, and it looks like Cold War is not gonna repeat the same mistakes as Modern Warfare, but it will probably have its own because nothing is perfect. Modern Warfare had a focus on realism, and to be honest, I don't think a grounded COD game is a bad thing at all, and that's not an unpopular opinion, but when the gameplay suffers for realism, meanwhile there's a load of anime, things like anime guns and trucks that you can buy from the store. Actually, I'm not complaining about that though. Right, when the gameplay suffers negatively because of that, it's just not a good thing and luckily Black Ops Cold War is not taking that same route. Once again, when it comes to just stuff like the minimap, the weapons, like the your how heavy and bogged down your character feels, the movement, all that kind of stuff, we know all that stupid stuff like the leaning and the doors. Door defenders don't even don't even try it. All of that stuff is still staying in Modern Warfare, and the gameplay for Cold War is going to return back to a lot more, I would say more in line with Black Ops 4 or Black Ops 2, more like newer school boots on the ground Treyarch style. At the multiplayer reveal event, Treyarch said that they've been making multiplayer in COD for what, 12 plus years since World at War, so they know now what works and what doesn't, and they've put it all together in this package here. Well, Modern Warfare, once again focusing on the realism, so Infinity Ward fixed things that were never broken, so they fixed nothing. You know earlier how I said a lot of people love Modern Warfare and a lot of people hate it? That's because that game does a lot right, so there is a lot to love, but at the same time there is a lot to hate. And luckily, a lot of the good things are returning this year. Stuff like free DLC, no supply drops, crossplay, the upgraded engine, the gunsmithing, that kind of stuff. The good stuff is returning, so I want to say that because after listening back to what I've recorded so far, it definitely does seem biased, this video where I'm just saying like, oh, on paper, Black Ops Cold War is a better game than Modern Warfare, but like I said, we truly don't know because on paper as well, like I also said, right, Modern Warfare seemed perfect, but it Whatever, man. And you know what? I'm gonna say it. There will be things that Modern Warfare will 100% do better than Black Ops Cold War, and people point it out. People say, damn, I miss that about Modern Warfare. And, you know, I'm not gonna name anything right now because we're not we're not at that point in the COD cycle. We will be soon, though. So, anyway, fellas, I think that is all for today. Stay spicy, and I will see you in the next one. Cheers.